Yes. I was with the commission of police. And he assured me everything has been resolved in my favor for the contract. Sharon? The, the commission of police assured me that the contract will be Cool. All right. You don't need to that. I'll just have the driver drop me. All right, we'll speak later in the afternoon. Thank you very much. What's wrong? I will drop you off at school. Come on, Daddy. I'm sure you have a lot of meetings to attend to. So I'll just save you the time and I'll be on my way. I was I insist. Why? I can take care of myself, Dad. Does taking care of yourself? Me dressing like a hawker. Good morning, darling. Good I thought morning, you were. Uh, you had some meetings to attend to. Mm. Oh no, I have an appointment with the beauty salon. Mm. Good morning, mom. And why are you dressed like this? I'm just going to school. I have lectures, mom. Hell no! You can't leave this house dressed like this. Come on, mom. Sharon, I think your mom is right. Really, Dad? Um, no, I... It's not that serious. Just campus dressing. You can't be serious right now. Benjamin! She is showing too much skin and I'm not liking it. Well, um... Ooh, I need to run. Ooh. You guys sort this out. Dad, are you not dropping me off anymore? Um, yeah. Le I'll send the driver to drop you off. Let me not be late for my meeting. Bye, honey. Bye, darling. I'm coming with you. I'm going to make sure you dress properly. Let's go. What's up? Are you going to school today? Um, to be honest, no, I don't feel like it. Okay, so what's your plan? Mm, I mean, I'm just thinking of maybe hanging with some of the guys from school at the mall, see a movie or something. But one thing I know for sure is that I don't feel like feeling with those lecturers today. Exactly. I think we're both in the same mood. You know what? I'm coming to your place now and then when I get there, we'll both plan what to do. So just get ready and wait for me, okay? All right, babe. See you okay. soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. Um, Akim, just go straight to Darius's place. But miss, he forgot finds out. I never asked for your opinion. Do what I asked you to do. Yes, miss. on his face when I told him I was done with him. Hey, hey. Guys think they're the only ones that can break our hearts. See, me, I shredded his heart into pieces. Let's see how fast he recovers from that. Serves him right. I never liked that guy anyways. So, what now? Mm. Let's 
go to your boyfriend's house. Nah. Why? Did something happen? Sharon, see, Peter has been my friend since childhood. Okay? Don't even think I'm breaking his heart. You hear me? It's not that, but I just... I just, I just don't want it to seem like I'm already ditching school to go see a man you get. What is wrong with that? I mean, you're playing hooky already. And as well make it count. Okay, fine. Is that a yes? Yes, I'm going there. Love it. Let's just hope I came here doesn't say a word. Did you hear me, Akim? <laughs> I guess for you out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sure Peter will be so excited to see you. I know, that one is love struck. But is he expecting me at all? <laughs> well, I wonder. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh my god, I think we just killed someone. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh, oh. oh my. Please, yes, 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 No, no, we can't do that. We can't do that. If she dies, we all go to jail. Sharon, you know your father very well. I don't want to go to jail. But, but we can't leave her here. She's wounded. Please, let's just go. Let's go. Please, I don't want to go to jail. Let's go. Miss, no, Miss, if we leave her here, she might die. Hakim, just do what she says, okay? Okay, there's no one on, on this road anyways. Exactly why we should leave. Let's go! Okay, just... she go? I don't know, ma'am. She was lying down here. Could someone have picked her up? Uh, but we didn't see anybody drive by or something like that. Drive Guys, like that. I told you. There was no need to come back here. Let's go before it gets worse. Please, it's, it's best we leave. Good evening, Dad. Good evening, Mom. Good evening, sweetheart. How was school today? Fine. Where are you at school today? Careful, careful. 
Careful. What's wrong? Um, nothing, Mom. I'm fine. I think it's just... I think it's just too spicy. Drink some water then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What is it? Um, I don't think I'm hungry, Dad. I... I ate at the school canteen, so I'll just go upstairs. I asked a question, young lady. Come on, Jama. She's been at school all day. Right, Sharon? Yes, Dad. I don't know why Mom always sees me as a bad child. You can ask stories, or even Akim. He took me to school and waited for me till I finished lectures and then brought me back. But you are never interested in what I have to say. You always draw up to conclusions. Good night, Dad. Mm. Good night, Mom. You need to give this girl some space. I do not trust Sharon. I mean, it's not like she's given us any reason to trust her. My daughter is so spoiled and unapologetic about her rude behavior. And what's with the attitude? You overindulge her. Now are you going to reject the food too? going on here? What happened yesterday? Yesterday? I told you already, Mom. I, I just went to school and then I came back there after. Detective Sam is here to see you. In fact, he has come to arrest you for a hit and run case that took place yesterday at GK Road. So, are you going to start talking now? Or do you prefer talking when you get to the station? I'm sorry. It's your choice. I'm sorry, Mommy. It was a mistake. I didn't mean to hit her. I, I didn't even know when she jumped in front. Mommy, I'm sorry. Please, Daddy, I don't want to go to jail. Please. How could you? I mean, how could you hide this from us? Sorry, Dad. I promise we went back. We went back for her, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sam, 
Take a seat, please. Thank you very much. I want to thank you for coming to me first. You have proven to be a very good friend. Thank you. I came as soon as I found out. It's a good thing someone found her and uh, took her to the hospital. But there is an NGO on the case already. They bent on seeing that the culprits are being punished. Oh, no, sir. I understand that my daughter has made a mistake here by abandoning the victim there. But say she is fine and recovering, what can we do to salvage the situation? Ben, I will not lie to you. This is a case of hit and run, and it's not easy to sweep under the carpet. Well, the NGOs are interested in this case, but I will speak with them and come up with an agreement with them and their lawyers. The girl in question is 21, an orphan. The NGO is trying to secure a good life for her after she recovers. I would suggest that you take up that responsibility and bring her home and cut her for her needs, especially within this period, until she finally gets herself okay. No, uh, no, Sam. We barely know this girl. Listen, I suggest we pay her off. Any amount. Honey, what do you think? Sam, what will it cost to settle her? It's not about the money. The NGOs are interested in this girl. They want someone to take care of her responsibilities. She's just 21. No parents, no guardian. She lives and survives on the streets. I would suggest you bring her home. You cut her for her needs and allow her to get herself. You pay her some money so that she can live and take care of her responsibilities elsewhere. Until the case dies down. Sorry. I was I was just frightened. I know I shouldn't have left her, but but I was scared. I was scared that I could go to jail if the police finds out. You should have told us. We are your parents. You shouldn't have kept it away. Kept it away? She blatantly lied to us about her whereabouts yesterday at dinner. Now tell me, what were you doing at GK Road in the early hours of yesterday? Does that road lead to your school? Answer me! I'm sorry, Mom. That's not an answer to my question. Where were you? I... I was... I was with Doris, Mom. And we were just going to see a friend. 
What are you going to say in her defense? You made it look like I was being mean to her. She is just 20. Second year in university. She has already started ditching school to God knows where. Where were you yesterday? Who did you go to see? There's no point asking her. Because she's going to lie over and over and over again. But I'm going to make one thing clear to you. When they bring her home, you are going to be responsible for her. Have I made myself clear? You will learn that there are consequences for your actions. You are not a child anymore. I cannot believe what our daughter has turned into. Mom, Mom, I'm sorry. Go to your room. Sharon, are you really going to let that strange girl come live with you? That's the only way here. It would have been us going to jail. But thankfully, the detective that handled this case is friends with my father. He just had to manipulate things. See, I understand. Okay, but your dad could have just paid the hospital bills. Come on, Sharon, you don't even know this girl. Anyways, so tell me, does that mean she's going to come live here and work as a maid or something? I don't know. In my mom's words, she is my responsibility. Meaning you have to take care of her? Meaning I just have to do what my parents want. Look, we are just lucky here because if this girl had died, I mean, you know what it means. It would have been a murder case. Well, she did not die. Okay, nobody died here. Let's... <laughs> Sharon, let's stop making this whole thing look like such a big deal. Oh. See, you guys are actually doing too much. I mean, fine, she was hit, but it's not our fault. We're not even speeding. Why is speeding? And then besides, what was she doing in the middle of the road? Is she blind? Oh, in my own opinion, she is the one that's supposed to apologize to everybody for the trauma that she put us through. But Nigerians, Sha, everybody with their own entitlement mentality. I beg you. Good afternoon, Ma. Doris. Ma. Go home. Ma. You heard me. Leave. Return to your parents and stop being a bad influence on my daughter. Ma. Ma Get I out! No. Sam, please sit. Well, Ben, my job ends here. The NGO will be keeping an eye on her to see if she's fine. In order for us to keep our own side, we need to take care of her as well. And at the same time, stay away from what will make NGO to come back again. Of course. Uh, thanks for everything. Thank you so much. I owe you one. Thank you. Well, I have to leave you now. All right. My regards to your wife. Thank you very much. All right, Grace, please sit down. Welcome to our home. 
um, unfortunately, what has happened is regrettable. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Um, this is Grace. Hmm. She'll be staying with us for the meantime until she's fully recovered. Oh. Grace, you're welcome to my family. Thank you, ma. Meet my daughter. Her name is Sharon. Hello, ma. Good Sharon dinner. will show you to your room so you can refresh before dinner. Okay, ma. Come with me. Sharon, I'm sure Gracie here didn't come with anything. So I would like you to go to your wardrobe and get her something to wear. Mm -hmm. So how was your day, sweetheart? Well, took some process hmm. over here. Are you okay, Gracie? Yes, ma. I mean, does it still hurt? No, ma. It looks ma. I'm sorry. You'll be fine. Grace. Ah, uh, Sharon. I came to say thank you for the clothes. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's not a problem. You should be resting, Grace. Just go to your room. Hmm? Okay, thank you. the door with the key. <sighs> She's all. I don't want your mom to come and start saying all those mean things she said to me the other day. Like she wasn't <sighs> right. Aren't you being a bad influence? Excuse you? Yes. If you hadn't suggested <laughs> us going to Peter's house, we wouldn't be in this mess. Mm. I hear you. Like, you didn't want to go in the first place. <sighs> Anyways, tell me. How's the girl? Just a regular girl. Okay, but is she pretty? What's she like? How does it concern you if she's pretty? <sighs> well, let's just say, I want to know, just so you don't make her your BFF and trash me like rotten cabbage. You are jealous! <laughs> I beg. Not jealous, I'm jealous. I know Cupid. <laughs> okay, look. And you are my best friend, and I'm not replacing you ever, ever. And as for that girl, I don't really intend on making her my friend. Besides, yes. she's just here due to the situation and will leave as soon as possible. Oh, great. I mean, when you say it like that, I guess I don't have a choice but to believe it. You don't? <laughs> anyway, so what's up with Peter? 
What's the latest? Just me now. Good afternoon, ma. Hello, Gracie. Is there anything I can help you with? Oh, come on, sweetheart. You're not here to help. All right? Mm -hmm. Rather, listen. You are here for us to help you out. Ma, I can't just sit, eat and sleep all day. I need to help too. <sighs> like I said earlier, I do not want you to stress yourself. We brought you here for us to help you out. So please. I can't believe you people can allow a total stranger into your home. Life is really unpredictable. Just a few days ago, I was roaming the streets without a roof. And here I am today in your house. And I have people to cater for me. Gracie, there's something I want you to understand. There is a reason for everything that happens on earth. You coming to a family is for a reason. Though the way we met wasn't too nice, but believe you me, you are here for a reason. So I want you to relax, remove all those things from your mind. You will be fine. Thank you, ma. Now go and rest. Okay, can I at least sit and just watch you or something? I'm tired of... Right. Please, sit. Don't worry. Believe me, you'll be fine very soon. Okay? It's all right. Thank you, ma. We really messed our daughter's upbringing by spoiling her so much. And when I mean we, I'm talking about you. We did what we did because she's our only child. My only child. A lot of parents make this mistake up until now. So because she's our only child, we should not discipline her. I mean, we should watch her go to West. Oh, come on. Very unkind words. You shouldn't be using that. Do you know why I'm saying this? Grace is just a year older than Sharon. Yet, acts more I mean, ten times sensible. <laughs> you barely know this girl. Just a week, seven days. Come on. One week is enough for me to know someone's true character. Your daughter should learn from her. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma. Grace, what are you doing? I'm just cleaning the house, sir. No, you shouldn't be doing that. Ah, see. You should not be doing this, okay? 
I can do it, so there's no problem. No, no, no. You should be resting. You've not fully recovered. Good morning, Ma. Good morning. Good morning, Dad. Good morning. Good morning. All right, I'll be watching in the car. Sharon? Yes, Ma. Your daddy will drive. Let me speak to the office. I was thinking this is Sharon's room. Sharon's room? Yes, ma. No. I mean, what do you want to do in Sharon's room? Oh, I am washing my clothes, so I was wondering if she has some dirty clothes I could wash as well. Oh, you really scared me. Come on. I'm sorry, ma. It's all right. This isn't Sharon's room. And you don't have to wash your clothes. Ma, I really don't mind. I would love to. Besides, I am always at home doing nothing. I don't mind helping out with some of the house chores, please. Gracie, Gracie. You are such a sweet girl, you know that. Hey, listen. Sharon will take care of herself. In fact, I want her to take care of herself. So you go wash your clothes. When she's back from school, she will do hers. Okay, ma. Gracie? Yes, ma. Um, there's a washing machine in the bathroom. So use it. You don't have to use your hands. I don't know how to use it, Ma. Oh, really? All right, then you go. I'll come and show you. Uh, thank you, Ma. Thank you. I'm a girl just like you. However imperfect, just like you. I'm only human just like you. Mm. Very tasty, as usual. <laughs> Thanks, baby. But I feel all the credit should go to Gracie here because she was so helpful in the kitchen. Really? Believe me, she is homely, domesticated. In fact, her mother raised her well. It's good to hear. And it's good to know that young ladies these days are taking up the responsibility mm. and uh, understanding that what you see on social media, television, parties, do not necessarily keep it home. Mm. <laughs> you can say that again. I'm so pleased having this girl in my house. At least I can go to work now and concentrate knowing fully well that I have someone like Gracie in my house. I have always wished to have a daughter like this, believe me. <laughs> Joma, hmm? I think we should drop this topic. Oh, really? Why? Why should I? Mm -hmm. Where are you going, young lady? To my room. And why? Who is going to finish this food for you? I'm not hungry. No, 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 hold on. You are hungry. In fact, I want you to be hungry because it took Gracie and I hours in the kitchen to make this good meal. I never asked anyone to make me food. How fair you raise your voice at me? Are you mad? Nijoma, stop that. Mama, please. Stop. Sharon can go to her room. It 
my child. I'll let her go to her room. Benjamin. I do not like what you did. There's not a time to take sides. You need to take it easy on her. Let's eat. I'll talk to Sharon later. Eat. Go on, my child. Enjoy your meal. I'm not hungry, Dad. Are you sure? I thought maybe you were not comfortable eating at the dining. Dad. Why does mommy like talking down on me? I'm her daughter. But she would rather pick a stranger's side than mine. My darling, your mom would never choose a stranger over you. She does that all the time. She, she doesn't trust me. She sees me as a good for nothing child. Your mom loves you. There can never be a love without trust. She's your mom after all. And there's nothing to be compared to a mother's love. She doesn't love me, Dad. She said it herself. That she wants a daughter like Grace. Grace has just been here for, for a few weeks. And now she's mom's favorite. I'm not making a defense for your mom, but Grace is our guest. It's only natural that your mom treats her or gives her a special treatment. And how about me? Does she make me feel special? Or even try to? Dad, I'm her daughter. All she does is to taunt and belittle me every time. She sees me as the black sheep of the family, as the, as the problem child of the family. Whereas, she's the major cause of why I grew up this way. When I was little, she never had time for me. And now, she suddenly wants me to be the daughter she never raised. It's okay, my love. Your mom has try been trying to make up for the years she was absent. <laughs> Remember, she had to quit her job to get a contract job just to make some time for the family. But I don't care, Dad. It makes no difference to me. Listen to me, my baby. I know you don't get along with your mom, but I'm here. And I wouldn't want my baby to go to sleep without dinner. Remember those days we used to play our games when your mom was running late? Would you allow your dad to feed you a little tonight?
Honey, I need you to be mindful of the things you say in the presence of our daughter. We all know why she turned out the way she did. I agree. It's somehow my fault because I wasn't there that much during her childhood. But come on, have I not tried to make it up to her for the past five years now? The truth of the matter is Sharon can never change. She needs time to come around. And then she's always had this feeling that she's not all that important to us. Mm -hmm. And we both know she spent the better part of her childhood with nannies. We were really not there for her. You should know that I love my daughter more than anything in the world. But come on. I will not spare the road and spoil my own child. So quit giving excuses for her bad behavior. Sharon is so spoiled. She is. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What's that? What were you doing? I, I, want, I want to talk to my About what? Now what's going on here? Mom? She's up to something. No. What do you mean? What, Sharon? I don't know what exactly, but she was acting all suspicious. No, Ma, no. I was going to ask if I should put the leftover food in the fridge so it don't get spoiled in the morning. That's not true. That's a lie, Mom. She was standing right here. She could have knocked. Okay, why didn't you knock? I was about to know, but I didn't know if you were asleep. So I just stood here contemplating on what to do. I didn't want to disturb you, that's why I did not knock. Honestly, I was not up to anything. She's lying, Mom. Trust me. Enough! Enough, Sharon. There's nothing wrong with her trying to find out from me what she would do with the leftover food. Come on! <sighs> Put them in the fridge, darling. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. Please, I'm so sorry for interrupting your rest. It's nothing. You can go now. Thank you, Ma. Oh, please, good night, Sakura. All right, let's go. Let's go back to bed. Please. Sharon. Go to your room. Mm. Just like you, however imperfect, just like you, I'm only human, just like you, mm. so there's no reason to be wicked and cruel, I need the love, just like you, just like you, I need the attention, just like you. Yeah, see I was born of a woman Just like you, just like you I see two wrongs will never make it right, you know Sometimes we ignore those things that mean the most to us, you see Brewing animosity in our Dad What is it? Dad. I don't like Grace. I feel she's not sincere. Why do you say so? Has she done anything to warrant such statement? Not really, but 
There is just something about her that doesn't sit right with my spirit. Sharon, Grace is a nice girl. I understand how you feel. You're being jealous because you've not been getting the attention you think you deserve between your mother and I. That's not it. Just take it easy. With time, you will come to love her. Why don't you get me a cup of coffee, as you always do? Sir. Hey, Chris. Your coffee, sir. Chris, very thoughtful of you. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Thanks. Um, can we please start by saying the grace? You mean like your name? Oh no, Sharon. What she meant was, you know, us praying before we eat. Which is what we are not used to in this house. So if she's trying to introduce prayers, I see nothing wrong with that. So. Can we please hold our hands? Oh please, just go ahead with your prayers. Please, let's respect God by closing our eyes. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this meal which we're about to eat. I also thank you for this amazing, loving and caring family. Just as your word nourishes our soul, may this food which we're about to eat nourish our body. And may we forever feast at the table of your abundant peace and provision in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You speak so well. I have been meaning to ask, what is your level of education? I'm a secondary school leaver, sir. She is so brilliant. At her young age, she took up the responsibility for herself. Very brilliant. My darling, have you thought about going back to school? No, my, I can't. I can't afford it. And who says you're going to afford it? Come on, we will sponsor you. Mom! What, Sharon? I'm asking you what? Is there anything wrong with us sponsoring her? Now listen to me. It will be a big shame on our family to watch such a brilliant girl go to West. What do you think, honey? That's a good idea. We will consider that. Th thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Thank you so, so much. Eat. I'm a girl, just like you. However imperfect, just like you. I'm only human, just like you mm. So there's no reason to be wicked and cruel I need the love, just like you just like you. I need the attention, just like you Yeah. See I was born of a woman, just like you Just like you 
Doris, this girl is really driving me crazy. Like, I don't know what her game is. It's like she's trying to divert my parents' love and attention all to herself. She's just doing everything to impress them. I told you. Listen, Ty. That girl is just a gold digger. Believe it or leave it. She's just a parasite. Ah. I think I can now see her for who she really is. And she must leave this house, though. Do you know that the other day, I saw her sneaking around my parents' bedroom. Are you serious? Yes. I'm sure she was trying to steal your mom's jewelry. You are right. You are right. She's a thief. I'm sure she's here to steal from my parents. Yes, now, definitely. This is what I've been telling you, since. Make sure that you put an eye on that girl. Because if not, I'm sure she's going to steal even that your favorite diamond necklace that I like. Oh, I didn't even think about that one. Because that's how you think about it, though. That girl is a thief. All those expensive things I used to like, I used to always admire every time. She'll not come and pack everything. Sharon, Sharon, pay attention to that. That girl is a thief. No, 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 no. This girl must leave. I can't. I can't take it. She must leave. Who do you know? Ah, she is you that way, Clemenia. Please, I'll get out. Just like you. However imperfect, just like you. I'm only human, just like you. Mm. So there's no reason to be wicked and cruel. Dad, can you just tell her to shut up? This is a residential area, not a church. Sharon, she's just praying. Yes, but she doesn't need to be so loud. I think she's just doing too much. Is that Gracie praying? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Maybe you should ask her to keep it low. And why should I? Because Sharon thinks she's too loud, right? Mom, we have neighbors. Don't our neighbors pray too? Sharon, I think you should learn from this girl. At her age, she is smart, hardworking, well behaved. Come on. Above all, she loves God. Guess what? She is just a year older. Enough, Ijoma. Enough. I don't like it when you compare the two of them. Sharon is Sharon. Grace is Grace. Benjamin! Named after my father. The two girls are unique in their own ways. I don't like it when you ask Sharon to emulate Grace. I love my daughter. You talk as if I do not love my daughter. I love her, but I'm just trying to make her understand good values. That's all. You make her understand by teaching her and not comparing her. Forget it, Dad. Mom will never understand. She just wants things to go her way. And she thinks I'm a bad child. I'll just go to my room. Good night, Dad. Sharon? Make sure you dress your bed. Ijoma, never, ever try this again. Never. for me. I, uh, yeah, I have some meetings to attend today. Take it, please. Ma. Take it. 
Well, I will instruct Akin to take you to the mall for you to do some shopping for yourself and also get your hair done. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you. You're welcome. See, do not forget um, to lock my house properly on your way out. If you do not know how to do it, call Akin. He will assist you. Okay, Ma. Thank you. Trust me, Peter, that girl is pretending. She's a fake. And you know, the worst part is that my parents trust her blindly. Like, I just have this weird feeling whenever she's around. What if you're wrong? I mean, she has not really done anything to arouse your suspicion. She has done a lot. Let me tell you, when she wants to pray, she prays so loud so that everyone can hear. You know, we don't even pray in that house as a family. And then she sneaks around the house and does chores, even meant for the maids. She's just doing everything to impress my parents. Maybe that's who she really is. She's a fake. She's pretending, and I'm sure. Look, baby. Can we just stop talking about her? I mean, this girl is not even worth it. Peter, I just, I just want her out of our lives. Like... And I want you in mine. Okay? Please. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. So how was your day? It was okay. And where's Sharon? Sharon? Sharon. Is she not back? No. Did you not leave with her in the morning? Of course I did. I dropped her off at school, hoping she would take a car home or call her came to pick her up when she's done. Hmm. She's not back. What? I mean, since she left in the morning, she hasn't returned. At this time? She's not at home. Have you tried to call her? No, because I was hoping she would drop by the office, then both of you would come home together. That's no, all. No, come on, Ijama. I should have called your daughter. I mean, no, you didn't see her at the normal time. She comes back five or six. You should have called her. <gasps> Show some concern. Yeah, honey, but I, I thought um, both of you Don't were... Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. Do the right thing. What if she was kidnapped? Oh, no. God forbid. Don't even go there, please. <sighs> Gracie! Yes, ma'am. Welcome, sir. Gracie. Yes, ma'am. Have you seen Sharon? Did she come home at any point? No, ma'am. What is this? She's not. Awesome. Please, honey. Keep trying her line. Now, what is this? What is this? Oh. oh no, I'm worried. Uh, DPO, oh, please let me know uh, whenever you get any other information. Thank you. Honey, honestly, I'm worried right now. Do you know, Doris has not even heard from her since today. I'm telling you, I'm worried. I mean, where could she have gone? This is wrong. Sharon! What is it? Where are you coming from? Um, I just went to see a friend, Mom. 
A friend? You went to see a friend? You couldn't even call us. Now leave a message. Mom. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Mom. Young lady. Sorry doesn't cut it out this time around. Dad. Don't. You've grown a habit of doing as you please. <sighs> without considering how any other person feels or how it might affect us. This is 10 p.m. The street is not nice. The country is unsafe. How could you leave for lectures in the morning to return by this time and tell me you want to see a friend? Who the hell is that friend of yours? Daddy, I'm sorry. You have become so disrespectful. At first, I thought it was because you were not getting on well with your mom. But I found out you do not care about any other person's feelings. What the hell is wrong with you? I am really disappointed in you. Now, go to your room and think about what you have just done. Daddy. Give me some water, please. Mom. You will not kill me. So there's no reason. I need love. Mom. Just like I'm sorry. I need the attention. Just like yeah. See, I was born of a woman just like you, just like you. Sharon, how are you? Um, should I get you your food or do you want to eat downstairs? Get out! I don't just want you to sleep on an empty stomach. I said get out! Leave! Just go! You want to do something for me, right? You want to pay back for everything my parents has done for you. Then go! Just leave so that peace can come back to this home. Go! Go! I know how difficult it is for both of you at the moment. You are yearning to talk to her as much as she's yearning to talk to you. So. That's where the problem is. Sharon can't always eat her cake and have it. She needs to understand that she made a mistake. And she's not a child whose mistake may be pardoned always. I think you're right. We have pampered her.
Good morning, Dad. Good morning, baby. Good morning, Mom. Slept well? Where is Gracie? Why is she not having her breakfast with us? What happened to your neck? N nothing, sir. It was just a minor accident. But I'm fine. Accident? How? Where and where are you going with your luggage? Why didn't you inform me you were leaving? Answer, Gracie. Ma, please, you need to let me go. I don't want to be the reason your family is having a lot of problems. I just want to go back to where I came from. I, I don't mind sleeping under the bridge or feeding from the dumpster, but I have to go. I don't want to cause any problem. You've been nothing but good to me and I really appreciate you. So please let me go. What is this? Now listen to me. I need a truth from you. If you consider me your mother, I need a truth. What happened? Did anybody ask you to leave this house? I went to Sharon's room last night to ask if I could bring her food to her since she was upset. And I didn't want her to sleep on an empty stomach. But when I tried talking to her, she yelled at me and asked me to leave her room and to leave this house for good. She told me I was the cause of the problems in this family. And that <sighs> both of you have been so good to me. And if I wanted to pay you back, I should leave and never return. I'm really sorry I didn't come to you first, but I didn't know what to do. I was so confused and I don't want to cause any problem. That is why I want to go, Ma. I just want to go. Sharon, is that true? Not the whole truth, Mom. She just keeps acting like she's nice. Mom, I only told her to leave because she was bugging me. I wanted to be alone. How could you be this mean, my dear? How? But it's the truth, Mom. She has actually overstayed her welcome. Sharon, what kind of a girl are you? How could you be so mean to a fellow girl? Someone your age? Someone who you almost killed and ruined her life, but she chose to forgive you. You think you and your friend would have had an easy escape if they pressed charges? The poor girl has been nice to you and nice to everyone. I'm really disappointed by your conduct. Dad, Dad, I didn't do anything wrong. You pushed me so hard that I hit my head against the wall. Sharon! Mom! That's not true! How do you think I can be so cruel? I just told her to leave my room. That's all! Why would you say I pushed you so hard? So enough hard? Enough of your manipulative lies, Sharon. I've had enough. How would she inflict an injury on herself? Just to make you look bad. For what? <laughs> Sharon, this is not good for you. She's... Be nice to everyone. 
What else do you want from her? What's wrong with you? Dad, 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 you have to believe me. Mom, I didn't do anything wrong. It's okay, my dad. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Now, relax. It's okay. Take you back inside. Come sit right beside me and eat. Please let me <sighs> What are you doing here? I said, what are you hey, doing here? Hey, hey. You don't want to alert your parents. Because if they come here, I will tell them I came to apologize for the way they shouted at you. Or maybe... Or you called me up here to bribe me with some money and to beg me to leave at night when everyone is asleep. Oh, guess what I'll do? I'll beg you never to convince me to commit such a scene of betrayal and bribery. Who are you? What do you want? Who am I? My name is Grace, Grace Benjamin Azubiki, and I am your father's daughter. You want to know what I want? Everything you have, excluding your parents. I want the life you have, the luxury, the cars, the jewelries, everything. I deserve to be the one living this life of luxury. Not you. I had come in peace just, just to get a spot to take what rightfully belongs to me. But no, you don't want that. You want me out of your way. You want me out of this house. So here's what I would do. I'll be the one to chase you out of my father's house. You must be insane. I am more sin than you are. I knew it. I knew you have been pretending. Of course. I mean, I never hid my intentions. It's not my fault that your father, our father, and your whole of a mother are so dumb. Don't you dare. Don't you dare speak about my parents in that manner. They have been nothing but good to you. And you, you lied to them. You fooled them. And you think I'll believe this your cock and bull story of being my father's daughter? Listen, you are nothing but a thief, a liar, a gold digger, an imposter, and you will always be a low life. Hey, 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 hey. You should know it would always be your word against mine when it comes to your parents. And just like the puppet here, I always know the right strings to pull. One more trigger from you, and I promise you that will be the last day you will be in this house. Kisses. completely lost all your manners. Mom, it's Grace. It's Grace. She's fake. She's not who you think she is. Enough. I called you.
yourself a little respect and stop all this nonsense. What is your problem? I'm not lying. Why would I lie? But that's all you've been doing. Lie here and there up and down. You are so dishonest and manipulative. No, but she is fake. That she is an imposter. She's not who you think she is. Sharon, get out of here. Dad. Get out. You heard him. <laughs> what has come over her? She was not this bad. She has had too much freedom. That's what her problem is. She's finding it difficult to realize that the world does not revolve around her. sorry for my recent behavior. Please forgive me. I am deeply sorry, Dad. Please forgive me. I want to strive to be a better person now. Mom, I agree. I am a bad child, a very bad child. You have shown me so much love, despite the fact that I keep disappointing you. You have never made me feel like a burden. Please forgive me, please. Just give me one last chance. Please, Dad, please, Mom. Is that a promise? Yes, a very big one. I promise never ever to be a bad child again. Sounds interesting and encouraging. Please, sit down. Yes. Get up. What? Um, can we all go for dinner tomorrow? Oh, come on, baby. You don't have to do that. Yes, Mom. And Dad, if you guys can choose any location of your choice, plus my treats. And look, don't worry. I'm not using any of your debit cards. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You stole my money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not a hundred percent. Thanks for the offer anyway. Oh, tomorrow. However imperfect, just like you. I'm only human, just like you. So, there's no so are you guys ready? Well, you know, we'll be leaving soon. And when I get there, I'll have to pull up an excuse to leave them. Then, come pick you guys up. Yes. Okay, see you soon. There's no reason to be weak and grow. I need the love just like you, just like you. I need the attention just like you. Yeah. See, I was born of a Yes, wow.
I, I want to know what we're going to have for dinner. Um, that should be an issue and it's not with Benjamin tonight. Ma, I can't hear you. You said what? I said I'm eating out with Benjamin tonight. Just feel something for yourself, ma. Uh, uh... Okay, ma. Okay, ma. Okay, ma. Where is the music coming from? You, ma, you said music? Yes, where is the music? I can't hear you. The music is very loud, ma. What are you saying? Oh, music, yes, yes, it's Sharon. Sharon is throwing a party. She has some friends around, a, a man and a, a girl, yes. Yes, ma. She told me to cook, but I, I don't know what to make. We're out of chicken. Sharon is having a party. You said what, ma? Sharon is having a party. Yes, ma, yes, ma, yes, ma. Sick? No, she's not sick. Oh, she has been playing since and laughing and jumping. She's not sick, ma. You know what? I'm not telling you that you're coming back right now. Oh, I should not tell her you're coming back, ma. Okay, ma. Okay, ma. I will not tell her. Okay. Get the wine. I don't trust this girl. You are right. Look, taste this food that you made and sip from the wine. Why? Because I don't trust you. Go on. Or, are you scared? Why can't you taste this? Except you poisoned it. Sharon, I am not that evil. And I know your friends here know the entire truth, so no need pretending. Moreover, if I wanted to get rid of you, I would have done that a long time ago. I am only here to take what rightfully belongs to me. I am not a killer. Okay, let's say you are my father's daughter. What is stopping you from telling him? Because I am not willing to risk it all. The chances that he might believe me are very slim. The chances that even when he finds out the truth, he's going to be willing to take me are also very slim. So why risk it all when I can take it my way? <laughs> you are delusional. Well, good luck on your quest, but then taste this. Go on. Fine.
happy now? the drink yes but it was supposed to make her sleep i don't know why she's coughing blood no 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 this was not could she have poisoned the drink but she wouldn't drink it if she poisoned it this was not the plan guys grace grace what do we do you guys should just help me we need to take her to the hospital uh, sharon just calm down we can't take her to the hospital I mean, they're going to ask us what happened. Then, what do we say then? Amen. Grace, Grace, guys, we need to do something, please. Even if we have to take her to the hospital, we'll need cash, lots of cash, and we're just students. Wait, what do we do? Money. Okay. Yes, yes. I can get money. I'm coming. Just wait for me. and Grace's food. Ma, we didn't, we didn't poison her food. We only added sedatives to the drink so, so that she could fall asleep. Can you hear yourself? Why? What for? Because we wanted to get her nude pictures. What? Mom, this was all Grace's fault. I just wanted her to leave this house. Is your water? One more word. I will redesign your face! Gosh! I can't believe! I gave back to a monster! You have to believe me, I'm sorry. Jesus! to you and I will deal with you.
Let's go. How are you feeling now? I'm a lot better, ma. Just a little stomach ache. You will be fine. The doctor assured me you will be fine. It's food poisoning. Ma, can you please forgive Sharon since she didn't poison me? Are you for real now? She gave you sedative and attempted taking your new pictures. Come on. My daughter is wicked. In fact, I can't believe I gave birth to her. Relax. You'll be fine. Okay? Just leave Sharon. I'm going to instruct the driver to take you to the hospital for checkup. I assure you, you'll be fine. Thank you, ma. Just like Thank you. you. However imperfect, just like you. I'm only human, just like you. What is going on here? Wait. Are you two? Hi guys. Oh. So sorry guys. I had to find a way to get rid of the drive. Hey What's baby. Up? Hi guys. Hi girls. Hi girl. What's up? What's up? Get. Can someone tell her to stop staring? It's getting really creepy. No. no. You three are... That's impossible. Ooh! Finally! Someone is finally catching up. It's that so late. Don't worry. I'll do you the honor of breaking the whole story to you. The accident, everything fake. But girl, you could have killed me. You were such a reckless driver for a girl your age, you know. <laughs> no, you should be very careful, you know. Oh, 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 Peter, Doris, lovebirds. <gasps> they also my friends, my keys from way back in Sulija, where yes. we grew up together, you know. <laughs> and Doris became your friend because I asked her to, both of you, attend the same university so it made everything easier. <sighs> Girl, you had to make the biggest sacrifice, you know? I know. I'm lying, your man. Data. I'm so sorry. Why? What for? Because I needed to take what rightfully belongs to me. The promise I made to myself on my mother's deathbed. <gasps> my father did nothing to you. He did everything wrong to me. Yes! He abandoned me! He abandoned my mother! What crime did I commit? Did I ask to be born? I will make sure I ruin your father. And I must take my pound of flesh. I will not let you hurt my father. Never! Wait. You will not.
not let me hurt your father, really? <laughs> it seems you don't get what's happening right now. He doesn't want you around. Doll, you're not wanted. <laughs> Doris. <laughs> Doris. Doris, I took you as my friend. I mean, you are my friend. How could I? Oh. I'm so <laughs> touched. That's so much. I loved you. I loved you very much, Peter. I mean, if 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 you needed money, you could have just oh, asked. Shut up. You really think I'll choose you over my friend? Or even let you continue? Sleeping with my boyfriend? I mean, we all know what hustle is like back home. All we're trying to do is survive and bring our families out of poverty. Okay? And my darling, it might interest you to know that my house is also fake. As a matter of fact, I live here with Peter. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I promise you, you would definitely- oh Girl, get off your high horse. If I were you, I'll just cooperate. I mean, read the room, baby girl. That's right, Sharon. Just leave you for a bit. Look, Grace just wants some money. A lot of your, her father's money. Oh, that is I mean, terrible. besides, your dad has to pay for what he did to her mom. Your dad is wicked. Peter. <laughs> Sharon. We're not done yet. You want to know what we have? Do you want to know what we have? We have your sex videos. All thanks to Peter. Oh, oh, oh. no, 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 no. Don't be shocked. Don't be shocked. Not done. By this time tomorrow, your daddy's videos and pictures will be all over the internet as a rapist. My dad is not a rapist. We know. Soon to be rapist. And guess who is going to rape? Me. <gasps> Don't even try to do anything stupid. Else, it will be your videos and pictures all over the internet. You know me? Your reputation and that of your father will be ruined. <laughs> oh! Magis. 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 Good day, ma'am. I came. Yes, ma'am. Where is Gracie? I thought you dropped her off at the hospital. Yes, ma'am. She asked me to return back that she'll come back home with the car. And why is that? I don't know, ma'am. She said something about seeing a friend. A friend? Yes, ma'am. Gracie doesn't have any friend. I came. Are you sure you dropped this girl at the hospital? Uh, no, ma. I, I dropped her along the road, um, somewhere around JK Road. JK Road? Yes, ma. Was there not a road where Sharon ran her over? Yes, ma. Excuse me, ma.
Gracie. Yes, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. So, what time did you return yesterday? Um, almost immediately, ma'am. Akim said you went to see a friend. Yes, ma'am. I went to see one of my friends, the one I used to walk with on the street. Hmm. I went to know how she was doing. I see. It's all right then. I'm going out. So my husband is upstairs. Should he need anything, please attend to him. Thank you, my real sure. Thank you. Sure. Today is the day I have been waiting for. Today, I shall ruin you and destroy everything you've ever worked for. Today, the whole world will know what kind of a man you are. left my mother to marry her mother after getting her pregnant. Why? Because she's from a poor home. Oh, Mr. Benjamin. Let's see how far you reach and how Flint's lifestyle can lead you. Child. And this is this is how you you pay me back. Sharon was right after all. You are indeed an imposter, a monster. That's who you are. Thank goodness I listened to my daughter's pen. Mom! Have I not warned you not to call this line again?
drove down to my sister's place last night. And she told me everything. How could you? Now tell me, who the hell are you? My name is Chris. And he is my father. Who is your mother? Angela. I can do everything. What you and your husband did to my mother. So tell me. Did I do anything wrong? Answer me! Sam! I want you to arrest this little demon. Grace, you are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Whatever you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you don't have any, the state will provide you with what? Move. Move. I never knew she had a child. Well, let's wait till the TNA result comes out before we conclude. Why would Angela infuse so much hatred into her daughter's mind? What did I ever do to her? It's all right. Calm down, sweetheart. I didn't want you to think too much. If truly Christ is your child, then we owe it to Angela. To see that will make Grace a better person. That's it. I want you to calm down till the result comes out. You know me too well. I've never been against whatever you had with Angel in the past. Yes, I know. I know that Angela was your first love. I understand how you feel. So relax. If the DNA result comes out and proves that Grace is your daughter, then bring her home. I'm a girl just like you. However imperfect, just like you. I'm only human, just like you. So there's no reason to be wicked and cruel. I need the love, just like you, just like you. I need the attention, just like you. Yeah. See, I was born of a woman, just like you, just like you. See, two wrongs will never make it right, you know Sometimes we ignore those things that mean the most to us, you see Brewing animosity in our hearts full of deceit Sometimes we ignore those things that mean the most to us, you see Brewing animosity in our hearts full of deceit What goes around comes around Life is a merry-go-round Cause no matter what you do now, It'll sure come back to you now. What goes around comes around Life is a merry-go-round Cause no matter what Chris, you do It'll sure come back I believe by now Sam would have explained a few things to you 
Sam and I have come a very long way. And he knows about the relationship I had with your mother. She was my first love. When I first met her, there was a very good chemistry. And I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life with her. But somewhere along the line, I found out she was a carrier of the sickle cell anemia, AS, just like me. I know with your level of education, you will know the implication of an AS marrying an AS. But despite this condition, she still wanted us to get married. And I said to myself, why would I bring children into the world to suffer? Being in pain so always. So you sitting here, you are the miracle I never expected. And believe me, I never knew your mother was pregnant when we parted ways. We were never in touch. And I didn't know you existed. I always prayed for her to find somebody compatible and be happy. So please, forgive me. You're my daughter and my responsibility. My mother really suffered. She was all alone and no man ever wanted her again. She was always sick and would cry every night hoping that one day he would come back for her. I had to do what was right for both of us. Each time I see you, I am very grateful to God because you are a rare gift God has given to me. But I need you to issue this bitterness. This is your family. This is your sister. And my wife. She has grown to love you already. Please. I am really sorry. I got carried away by my emotions. But I promise you I am not a terrible person. Please. Please forgive me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to carry for the first time. Sit. <laughs> You are now my daughter. Come. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm happy for you. Sure. You have your family back now. I wish you all the best. I have to take my leave. 
I forgot you were still there. <laughs> <laughs>